Michael Brundy, and I want to talk to you about changing your perspective. You know, it's easy to just say, change the way you look at things, and the things you look at will change. But how do you actually do that? How do you actually change your perspective? Well, here's some tips for changing the way you view a particular experience or a particular situation. First, pretend that you are your adversary. Think about how you would see things if you were on the other side of the argument. You don't have to agree with your adversary in order to put yourself in their shoes. Consider the other person's background, their upbringing, their social economic situation, even their religion and their belief systems, because all of those things will contribute to how they see things, their perspective. Now think, if you had their background, how would you see the situation? Imagine how someone you respect would look at your situation. Maybe it's a parent, a teacher, a, a preacher. But think about how they may view things differently than you. How would they respond? You can use a hero. You can use a person from your past. You can, you can even use the person that you want to be to help you find another perspective. Think about what this experience will mean in the years to come. I mean, what does it really mean in the big picture of your life? Is it really life-threatening? Is it really that bad? My sister Becky used to calm my fear of going to the dentist by reminding me that it wasn't life-threatening. I'd be coming out of the dentist's office alive. No, the world will not always change just to suit us. But we do have the gift of our vision. We have the gift of our view. We have the gift of our perspective, and that is something that we are in control of. Now, these tips, they just might help you get there. Remember, we can change our perspective. <laughs>